Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Carlson's Lab. Let's get started. Hi, everyone. Pardon the miking and the lighting and everything here. I'm setting up the new lab. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, this has been well explained on Patreon and I've explained all the steps there. But for those of you here, I haven't really talked a whole lot about the lab move. So what's happening is I'm trying to consolidate all the labs into just one area so that way I can make videos faster and show everybody more of the process here and on Patreon. And that's the reason I've taken this huge move on. So the intro that you see normally, which you know looks like this right here, is at the old lab. Well, this here is the new lab and everything you can see here has been moved and a whole lot more. There's still actually about 60% of the stuff at the old lab. And uh, there's yeah, just an amazing amount of stuff to move. And uh, yeah, for all of you that have uh, been on this channel for a while, you can imagine how much weight that is. So this is what's happening. So this is the new lab that's being put together. And of course, that new antenna is up here so that I can do radio restorations. This is one of the areas. There's actually four areas being put together here, three actively being built right now and four that are going to come together in the end which will pretty much allow me to explain and show you all of the repair and restoration processes with a lot more efficiency, right? Because uh, before there was a lot of moving around to do all of this type of stuff. So this here, where there used to be uh, test equipment at the old place is uh, now just parts and pieces and, you know, shelving and things like that. It's a little bit of test equipment here. Uh, some things in queue to, you know, be rest restored and things like that. You can see that the, the actual bench and the desk is still pretty much set up the same as the old lab just because it works well with my workflow. Instead of having the uh, the scopes here hanging from the ceiling like they did at the old place, the ceiling at this place is uh, much, much higher. And because it is higher, uh, that would mean that these would have to, you know, hang that much lower down. And it's, of course you touch them and they're like a swing, right? So I figured this would just be a, an easier way of doing that. This is the way the camera is normally mounted. The camera that's looking at this right now is the same camera that you see there. And uh, that's normally my miking. I'm just using a, a portable microphone on the actual camera right now to record this. So again, uh, pardon the audio. So this is the new work area here. And uh, there's more parts and pieces over here, uh, multiple computers for just different things over in, uh, in that area over there. Some of my monitoring speakers for mastering the audio and things like that. So this is the new area. This is uh, coming together, one of the new areas. And you know, this is uh, where I do the surface mount stuff, by the way, right down in here. And uh, you know, just the regular work on the bench there. So the bench that's uh, being put together in another area right here is very much similar to the old time work area, which will be used for much larger equipment and things like that. So let's uh, go take a look at that area now. All right, let's go take a look at the next area here. So this is where the old time workbench is. You can see some of the storage units here, storage racks and boxes and some more storage there. This whole thing is being put together right now. You can see the old time workbench over here with some shelving. So I tried to make the, the old time workbench level with the shelving so I have more room to slide some of the larger equipment in. Pardon the shaky camera here. This camera is very heavy to hold. So there's that, and you can see a lot more of the shelving goes all the way down there as well. Need to work on the lighting in here because it's uh, not very well lit. Nice thing about this room is it's very quiet, very silent for filming. Once all the equipment is in here, there'll be very little echoing and things like that. So that uh, make for some nice, nice clean video footage, audio footage. See the gap here between the bench and the wall? That's so I can run the cords down instead of having to run them through that hole that you see there, like it was on the old time workbench. Uh, there'll be more shelving up here and there'll also be more shelving on the bottom down here as well. So you can see how I've propped the bench up to level it. I wanted to get the bench level with the tops of the, uh, the shelving units here. So what I've done is I've used this pneumatic stool and I've been pressing the little lever to lift the bench up slowly. I had a bunch of them under here, I actually had three of them. And uh, that really made lifting the bench, you know, perfectly into position very easy. So lots and lots of stuff going on, as you can see. Just uh, an amazing amount of work. Let's move over here, give you a little bit different perspective of things here. So it's all coming together. So soon, some very large restorations will be done on this bench right here. I've got some uh, pretty neat stuff. Raquel receivers, call-in stuff, 
and uh, yeah, just all sorts of very neat receivers that are going to be uh, restored here very shortly. So anyways, there's a little update for you on what's going on at Mr. Carlson's lab. I'll have some more updates for you here shortly. If you're enjoying my videos, you can let me know by giving me a big thumbs up and hang around. There'll be many more videos like this coming in the near future. We'll be taking a look at vacuum tube and solid state electronic devices alike. So if you haven't subscribed, now would be a good time to do that as well. If you'd like to be notified as soon as I post a new video, don't forget to tap that bell symbol. If you're interested in taking your electronics knowledge to the next level and learning electronics in a very different and effective way and gaining access to many of my personal electronic inventions and designs, you're definitely going to want to check out my ongoing electronics course on Patreon. I'll put the link just below the video's description under the Show More tab, and I'll also pin the link at the top of the comments section. So if you click on the link, it'll take you right there. All right, until next time, take care. Bye for now.